Okay, so hello everyone. Today, let's take a look at what's inside this overrunning clutch booty. I bought a new one. Uh, this video is in connection to the video I made with regard to the alternator. I'll post a link somewhere here. And at the end of this video, this is the box that this thing came with. I know it's not similar, but so long as everything lines up, then it's okay. How I wish I could show you opening this one up, but right now I cannot afford this. Afford it uh, because uh, because of this pandemic, no money is coming in. Okay, so basically, this is working counterclockwise. It's supposed to slip and it's dragging, and clockwise it should. I mean, lock itself. In this case, this is no long. Uh, I mean, it's freewheeling either clockwise or counterclockwise but I've welded this shot just so I can use this for the time being until uh, this new one arrived so I'm going to install this on the vehicle and then we're going to take a look at this one okay 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 so there's the new uh, overrunning clutch pulley it's working 13.5 okay so now let's take a look at the other overrunning battery okay so now let's take this apart preferably it would be advisable to use a, a bearing puller for this actually i already dismantled and assembled this several times in an attempt to try to get this to work but i was never uh, successful in doing so so i figured i might i might as well show you what's inside here just to satisfy your curiosity so push this out okay so and that's it okay let me clean this up i'm going to remove this bearing here okay okay so basically you've got two bearings one here and one here and this assembly that holds this I don't know what you call that uh, fins okay let me pull one out uh, okay so this assembly this plastic assembly that holds these springs and this uh, let's just call them fins is incorporated inside this bearing okay okay let me take this out the seal okay so I don't know if you can see that but basically this is plastic that's ho that holds in the ball bearings of this bearing and it's a one piece one piece plastic I think so okay I suppose this one you see this leaf or the bracket that holds in the bearings is made of steel so basically this is a one piece assembly together with the bearing I'll pull that out let's try to pull that out okay mm -hmm. okay okay so so basically this is what's inside the overrunning clutch pulley of the alternator okay so uh, I was never really successful in trying to get this to work again I tried several ways possible uh, basically this the orientation of this was like so I tried like so okay hold on was like so and then I tried reversing this I tried putting in the bearings backwards at one point I was I thought I was uh, able to get it to work I mean to lock when you turn it clockwise and to free, free wheel when you turn it counterclockwise but when I install it on the alternator and install it back on the engine uh, it would still sleep okay so I'll try to clean that up and show you a much more better look okay so if you look closely there are springs here like so this plastic assembly is incorporated in this bearing see and this, this 
these are the fins uh, I'm not sure if you can call them fins but basically uh, I don't really know what to call this so. and here's the outer assembly of the pulley so it sits like so you press this in let me press that in now Okay, so and basically the fins are supposed to go that way, okay? And then you just put the, I mean the pulley housing over, so actually I'm not really sure as to how this thing works. Maybe when the pulley is turning like so, here, the pulley is turning like so, Presses down on here and would lock the this thing would lock itself on this thing. Just maybe, okay. I'm not sure, but uh, basically this video is just to satisfy your curiosity as to what's inside an overrunning clutch pulley. Huh? How I wish I can answer the question uh, as to how this thing works. Or uh, my best guess is when the pulley. Is going to be driven clockwise it's going to press down on here and this thing is going to lock itself hold on this inner shaft so the entire assembly turns and when the revolution is from the engine is uh, decrease this will allow to be free wheel that's my best guess but uh, I tried any which way possible, tried inverting those fins, this bearing as well, putting it on here, reversing it. At, at one point, I, I believe, I thought I was able to make it to work, but I was never able to do so. So, I do believe that's all that I can show you. Uh, that's what's inside a overlanding clutch pulley of the alternator. So. I'm sorry if you're looking for how it works, I could not answer that question. So anyway, thank you for watching.